Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. I crashed. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. Ah, no, I did crash. We've got an awful lot to do today, um, but I have done one small thing off camera. Well, a small thing in comparison. It took a while to do. I've put these pillars up. Oh, by the way, I broke this one, so I just replaced this. I've put these pillars up underneath the train track here. Um, it was starting to really annoy me that we just had this sort of floating train track <laughs> above the world. So uh, down this section of road, where it's a dual carriageway, what we call here in the UK, basically like two lanes in either direction, Direction, I was able to put the pole, the pillar, right down the middle here. Really, really cool effect when you're driving down it now that it's not floating. I absolutely love it. And I've put two little yellow blocks down the bottom to look like a cushion. Um, so if a car did hit into it, it wouldn't break the pillar and it would sort of cushion the blow a little bit, maybe... Um, Lessening the injury to the person that hit it. And then around the other side, if we go around here, oh yeah, by the way, few people are still really concerned about the train track being above the palm trees. <laughs> It's hilarious. There are people. I didn't even think of that. Yes, you're right. The trees wouldn't probably grow underneath there. But two things. Number one, the sun isn't always on top of the train track. Therefore, these aren't always under shadow. Sometimes the sun's over there, giving the trees enough light. Secondly, secondly, they might not even be real palm trees. They might be fake palm trees to make it look good. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Um, over this section of the road, uh, because it's only a one lane in each direction. Oh, look at that car crash. Because there's only one lane in each direction, I couldn't put a pole right down the middle. So I've had to put a pole on either side. And this gives a really cool effect with like going through this sort of almost like a tunnel it feels. By the way, look at this. This is a pig. As you can sort of tell and you can hear, it's a pig. It's a pig. But... It's also the rail for the rail mod. Interestingly enough, pigs spawn as rails. I did not know that, so I just usually kill them when I can find him. Oh, he's, un he's underneath there. There he was. <laughs> oh, wow, that really lagged me out. Yeah, so these rails that are um, piggies uh, are actually piggies, in fact. Uh, it's it's quite strange when you think about it there's another one look i don't know it's very very odd isn't it 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 would blow my mind i don't know enough about mods to know exactly how they work each one works but i suppose mods must sometimes use parts of the game in order to work and uh, obviously the the that real train mod uses the pigs to to make the rails out of very very interesting i find that mind blowing anyway here is where we're going to be building our hospital i've put a block down here and i've put a block down over there because that's sort of the maximum distance that we have the maximum size that i would want this hospital to be any bigger and it's going to sort of look too big for the world um any smaller and it's not really gonna be big enough for a hospital i don't want anything small like uh doctor surgery that maybe if you've uh got a little bit of a headache or you've hurt your arm you usually go to your your local doctors i want a hospital um with the beds and the hot and the ambulances and all that kind of stuff so i actually have a method to my madness for this build number one I always find it easier when building any sort of building in Minecraft to use your own experience use things that you know in real life so a lot of this hospital is going to be inspired by the hospital that's closest to me um, and also other real life buildings I always do it with skyscrapers and, and houses or I try at least to either do friends houses or houses that I've seen or houses that I've seen on the internet it really does help and it works for all kinds of buildings so I think there's gonna have to be some sort of ordering to how I do things here first off let's get the ambulance okay which is I think this one yes okay so, uh, we want five blocks gives us the route for the ambulance to go in quite comfortably, with like a block on each side. I want this area, 
in my hospital, the first turn on the left, if you were coming from, like, if you are going in this direction, the first left turn is the A&E turning. That's where the ambulances go up and down, and it's where you go down if you're in an emergency, if you're giving birth, or if you're having uh, some sort of uh, asthma attack or something that you really urgently need to get into. So we need this to be two lanes wide. So I'm going to do that, maybe. And there we go. We can now have two vehicles going down, up and down that road. Yes, so that'll be one direction, one in the other direction. We would also need a little bit of a car parking zone, if you like. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this is going to be a nice hedged area. Just to make the front look really nice. We then need, I think it's six blocks is a car parking spot if I put a car down. Uh, one, two in front, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six spots is the length of uh, a car. So that's how long, how, how, yeah, how long we want the car parking spots to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we need a five spot gap for cars to be able to drive through. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five to come through there. We then need. Another six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. One in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. What are we going pretty far back? We need a nice size car park. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There. Okay. Basically, what this is going to be is car parking spaces here and car parking spaces here. You'll be able to drive down the A and E road, turn in here. Go around the car park, then drive back out and uh, out back onto the road. The ambulances are going to be able to come down here, drive all the way down to about here, where we're going to have the A and E entrance. There's always an entrance on a hospital that only paramedics, you know, people, um, the, the the ambulance drivers and, and paramedics will rush the people through on those little trolleys, but the public can't use that door. So that will be down there. And then the hospital, the main part of the hospital, with the main car park that is used if you're going for a checkup or maybe you're going in for an operation, you park in the actual car park. will be down that way. Uh, this is going to be a main pathway down that runs along the front of the hospital. So I think maybe three blocks would be good for that. A nice sort of wide room out than normal, a little bit wider than a normal path for people on crutches and wheelchairs and stuff like that. You don't want them falling out onto the road or onto the uh, into the car park do we okay so that's a pretty good start the main blocks with this building now that we've got how far back we want this to go are going to be made out of bricks and snow snow blocks i'm going to say this because i say it every time snow blocks do not melt people always get confused about snow blocks melting in the sun or with torches or with glowstone snow blocks do not snow slabs do and ice does packed ice does not snow blocks do not uh, we shall get that out of the way as soon as possible. So basically, we're going to um, alternate between areas of this building of brick and snow. It's going to give a really modern feel to it. That's something that I really want to do with this, this whole uh, city, is make a, a much more modern city than the last one. So, we want about, I don't know, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Now, a lot of the brick sections aren't going to have too many windows. We're going to want a door in here. The snow parts are going to have more windows than the brick parts. We want a door in here. Boom. That's about right. And then we want a snow section to start here. This is where... That's not snow. This is where our window section is going to begin. You want to try and get as many ins and outs as you can as well. Make the building come out and then in and then out. And it gives a lot of depth and dimension. It's going to look really cool when it comes to the roof of this building, which is going to be very, very modern, very cool style of, of roof. So this section, I want to have quite large windows. I'm thinking something about three blocks wide and four blocks high for each section. Is that out enough? Now I'm going to actually... I'm going to bring that back a little bit. So, we're going to have three blocks wide and four blocks high. One, two, three, four blocks. Like that. Nice, big, chunky windows. And I think we probably want another block between before we have another one. So something like this. This is the hardest part of any building and also the slowest part of any building. It takes a little while for 
uh, a building to really start when you're doing, especially a building this, this big. Uh, you always want to make sure that you've got the size right. You always want to make sure that you've got the sort of spacing right between the windows. If you don't, you're going to get to a point where you're going to go, oh, that's wrong. It doesn't look right. Something's not right. So take your time with this part. I'm expecting we'll sp probably spend... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give three episodes for it, for the exterior of it, because it takes a little while to go, to do. Now we're going to have another brick pile. We've done a brick. We've done a snow. Back to another brick part here. This one we want to be two, four, six, eight, ten blocks wide. So I'm going to come out a little bit here. You know, maybe out a few blocks. And uh, I'm going to come one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks wide. Now there's a, there's a really really good reason for that. What we're going to do is we're going to pillar this up higher than that one. Each section of the roof is going to be all at different heights. It's going to be really, really cool. I'm going to say about that high. Let's get rid of this car. Grab my wand and just fill this in with brick for the moment. Set to brick. And this is going to be where the big plus sign. Every hospital needs a plus sign. So we're going to put it right here. Two blocks down from the top, two blocks in from the side, on either side, two blocks there, and then underneath. There we go. That's going to be our key giveaway to this building, that it's a hospital. Okay, that's, that's going to be what's going to stand out. So that's going to go up there. I can also, while I'm here, speed up a bit of the next couple of episodes by filling these in with bricks now. And getting this huge sort of pillared section. Again, the brick parts don't really have too many windows. There will be windows on some brick parts. But most of the windows are going to be on the more modern um, snow block looking sections. Okay, now we're going to stick with the brick. Because we're going to mix some snow parts in. Uh, sort of in a couple of moments really. Or do I do snow on the bottom half and then brick on the top half? That sounds pretty cool. Let's do a snow bit here. We want to have a window. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep with this three block wide, four block high design that we have over here. Try and get a little bit of a um, a theme going with the windows. Uh, so four blocks high. That'll be there. That sounds pretty good. I'm gonna do one, two. This is still sort of being slightly modelled off my. Um, the hospital that's nearest to me. This is going to be where the door's going to be. And there. I don't mind these these two doors. That door there and that door there are going to be three blocks wide. Okay. This is the main door to the hospital. That is the door to the A&E section, the emergency part of it. Um, for normal people and then there's going to be a third door around the side here which is going to be slightly wider because that's going to be the door that would be used to get the people on the trolleys through you know on the stretches and stuff like that oops so uh, I probably want this to be, to be like a nice sort of symmetrical section so we're going to have another two three <laughs> another three an a <laughs> another two three by four windows i know there's probably a more easier way to say that that doesn't confuse everybody <laughs> but we'll, we'll go with that okay so that's a nice sort of symmetrical um area there around the door that's the main entrance so we want that to look really nice we're going to put some greenery and some shrubbery around that entrance and they're going to do another snow section um that's going to be here and what we're going to do is we're going to do a basically like a giant glass cube i saw this on a hospital online this isn't like the one uh my nearest hospital this is just a really cool feature that i saw um when i was sort of researching into sort of different hospital looks i'm gonna do it five blocks wide that sounds about right and five blocks wide this way it's sort of like a cube Ooh, one more it's sort of like a, a an elongated cube of just glass, uh, just like a really big window. We probably want this to go a few blocks higher than that, probably around four or five. One, two, three, four. I'm going to say five blocks higher. That gives us a total cube of uh, seven blocks from here to there is seven blocks. Five blocks in the middle with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks high. Was that right? Ten or eleven blocks high. I would say eleven blocks high would be good. So we're going to have this over here. 
How are we doing for time? We're doing fine for time. Okay, then I want another brick section here. I've got some hospital pictures on the side here that I sort of... I'm taking, like, sections of each building, of each hospital, and then combining them together to make one ultimate Minecraft one. Um, you know, doing parts that can be done in Minecraft, ignoring the parts of the hospitals that can't really be done in Minecraft for whatever reason. Um, this one I'm going to come out just one block wider, I think, than the... Uh, snow cubey section here and this part's going to be another sort of blank design of um of bricks here you should see what i mean at the moment this is going to be a sort of uh the artistic part of the building there's always on these sort of modern buildings there's always like a an artistic flair that they always have to them so this is going to go up here i'm going to say roughly about that height maybe not quite that high about up to here this is going to be the uh tallest part of the building i think so it's going to go from there to there, fill that up with brick, and then I want, how am I going to do this part of the building? Basically, I want this part to go bricks back here somewhere. How close are we? Okay, that's sort of my estimate of how big we're going to want the building to be. So we're pretty close to it. I think that's going to be about right. Then I want this snow part to be one block back here. And this is where the, the uh, windows are going to be. Again, we want to keep with this three block wide, four block high design. So uh, three, oops, four. Like that. And then I want this to go out maybe another three windows. Let's try that. So that would be one window. That would be two windows. That would be three windows. Each one three blocks high. And each one four blocks high. See how we're sort of, whenever we get to a window on a white section, we always want the windows to be the same size. It makes the building look so much better when it's done. When like, oh yeah, those windows on those sections are that big. Those windows on that sections are that big. It, it It's noticeable. You can see it. Okay. We're not too far off, actually, my estimate size of the building. I could extend some parts if we wanted to. I don't think we really need to at the moment. Okay, so now we're going to come up here, and this part is going to wrap over the top. This is the uh, artistic flair that I was talking about. There's always these sort of modern modern buildings always have these like weird straight lines that sort of wrap around and stuff like that, especially on modern hospitals. Oh, I don't want to go that far out. I'm going to take this away. And then I want more windows to come up here. So we're going to have another window. That is something with hospitals. Hospitals have an awfully lot. An awfully lot? An awful lot of windows. There are a huge amount of them. I'm going to do one more window above here. One, two, three, four. And there, like that. And then this is going to be the brick section. I probably want this to be... I'm looking on the scale. I don't know if I want it one block or two blocks. I'm going to do two blocks. So it sort of stays two blocks along here. And then goes up two blocks. You guys are going to have to see my ideas for the roof though. It's not, an, it's not a complicated roof. It just looks really, really cool. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to guess at that height. These heights might change by one or two blocks very slightly. Uh, but that's about what it's going to be. Again, up here, I want this section to go up. And then this is going to be our first brick window section. Again, we're going to drop this back a block, though. And it's going to come sort of along here and up here. Now, we need a second window design. We don't want to have the windows on the brick sections three blocks wide and four blocks high. Because that will look too repetitive. There won't be enough difference and detail in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a third block. I'm thinking something like a clay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do them three blocks high. And the glass section is going to be two blocks wide. So we're going to do one, two, three. A glass section that would be two blocks wide. And then another clay on the other side. Like that. Now, that does throw... That does throw our pattern off, though with the windows below it does, they're not going to line up perfectly is there a way if i move this back one to there and move that one over here then do oops then do the same on this side so drag these bricks along here and then do one there leave two blocks and that perfect look at that and then the bricks go up the middle and the bricks go along the top that way that lines up really well in the brick section should that be longer 
I mean, I could make that a little bit longer. If I made it longer, the building might not fit in there. But I think, I think it should be. I think what we want to do is take that out. And I'm going to put in one more window here. It looked a little bit too small. So let's put that up here. Put this up here. Probably uh, two blocks wide, actually. And then knock this down. And put those over here instead. I don't know how high I want this to be. Probably not too much taller than that one. Let's see if I can fit another window in here. If I don't, there and there. Oh, look at that. It does go in. With a brick up the middle there. Okay, I think that... Let's back off. I think that just being longer looks a lot better. How close are we to my estimate? A couple of blocks short. So, that's not too bad of a guess, is it? Now, that that's a pretty good front. We are pretty much out of time for this episode. I could do one more bit. I want to do the brick section above here and then we've got at least the front sort of blueprint laid out. The next episode we can sort of work out how the back and the sides are gonna go. Uh, which is a little bit more of a tricky section. I, th I think is gonna be a little bit more of a tricky section. Maybe it won't be because the front is always what you look at so you want to put as much detail and as much effort into that. The sides aren't as important and the back significantly more on this world because there's a mountain behind it you're not going to see the back that often so you don't really need to worry about it too much you obviously want it to look pretty nice though so we want this to come a few blocks above this and i think this is going to be three three stories sorry high um let's that's going to be there i'm going to say fill this one in brick i'm just trying to think a little bit ahead to next episode on on the spacing between each section here but we want to have the windows. Now, the windows on the brick sections we've already done. They're three blocks high and in total four blocks wide if you include the clay. So we want to make sure that we have a middle section here so it all looks centered. It doesn't look like off to um, where the door is. So we want to have that, oops, that one and that one, that one and that one. And then, yeah, okay, that gives us two blocks of brick on either side. I think that sort of works out pretty well. That one. Ooh. Hang on. That one, that one. What isn't right? Something isn't uh, That one. Yeah, now that's right. I was going to say, I thought, now everything's all symmetrical. Why isn't it working? So then we want to have uh, two blocks between. I think two blocks is probably a really decent number to have between floors. Uh, anything more in Minecraft, and it looks like a two beer distance. Um, and if you only have one block between them, when it comes to doing the interior, it makes it very difficult to fit everything in if you've only got one block between it. Uh, so we want to do the same thing up here. We want to have a window there and there there and there here and here there and there that gives us uh, three stories worth of hospital i think that's a good number i think two stories would be a little bit too small you could even fit in some fourth maybe even fifth floors in some sections of this building i don't know I don't know, but that, that looks about right. Again, these heights might change of these like these top peaks. It all depends on when it comes to doing the sides and the back. Um, you just need to sort of put down a starting point, don't you? You always need somewhere to start. So, there we go. There's the front of our hospital start. Now, I think it's a really cool, modern-looking front. I know a lot of you aren't going to like it as much as the old hospital, at least not at the moment, but how often do I, go, do I let you guys down? Not often. I always have a plan. Things always come together. You just got to give me time. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode.